Hello, this is Wes Diskin with Baron Heating and BaronGreenTeam.com. Just uh, I'm excited to bring you the Daikin Altherma system. This unit incorporates the monoblock, which is a great value. I'm going to explain more of that in a sec. But it's the uh, monoblock Altherma. This is four ton. Um, and then we have a uh, domestic water inside running off the Altherma system. We have an air handler in the attic of the second story running off the system. And then we have solar assist. Single panel on the roof. But um, nevertheless, still some solar assist for the, uh, the water heating. Um, this is the volume that you're going to get out of a Altherma system. It's, pro it's pretty close to um, you know any kind of double stack ductless. That's all it is. You know, is a double stack ductless like the RMXS Super Multi or uh, any of the VRV stuff. So, um, but the monoblock. So normally you would just have this section. This section over here replaces the. Um, uh, the water box on the inside. So we're doing all our refrigerant to water transfer outside here. And you'll see why. There's a smaller space inside and it's real easy getting into. So in this case, uh, the monoblock's a great deal, great value, very efficient, um, but they just give us a great price on the monoblock if you have the right situation though. We have very short water lines from the outside to the inside. Um, and so, yeah. So that's what that looks like and what it sounds like. And I'll take you around inside to the mechanical. And this is going to be kind of tight, so bear with me. They have a bunch of stuff in front of it. <laughs> it's a little crazy. So, let me pull myself around here. Move that. So here you have the, uh, the Daikin 80 gallon Althermo water heater. Okay, just give me an idea of what your mechanical room is going to look like. There's the control there. And then here we have our solar station there. And then, you know, you have your random stuff on the walls, lots of copper. And again, my videos are mostly from the consumer side. Just what are things going to look like? How are they going to be um, incorporated? Not necessarily how it works and the intricate details, but just more of a what to expect kind of stuff. Okay, so there's that. That's the water heater. And then as we make our way upstairs, <clears throat> so again we have our lower floor is all slab on tile, or tile on slab. So all this is all the tile. And that's, we got three zones downstairs of radiant. When we come out here to the garage, this is where you get, we'll see our air handler. As long as I don't fall off this ladder. Okay. And so, remember the Altherma has the ability to run on these appendages. So it's a great for if you have a, a radiant floor on the main floor, but you have some bedrooms, some auxiliary spaces up top, and you're going to want cooling. So, super awesome. We just run a furnace up here. It's got a little bit of strip heat backup. We've got the Altherma running on its uh, coil. We've got fresh air coming in from the side over there. So that's our fresh air intake for the upstairs. And um, yeah, so your basic furnace setup, it's just you're getting your energy from the Altherma system. It's pretty, pretty easy. And then it all comes around and runs back in the attic. All right, so there's that. And then I'll show you the solar section. <clears throat> here so there's that solar panel that's assisting the uh, the water heating and yeah that's about it it's really you know it seems really complicated but it's not super complicated you have the unit outside that's producing heat and that and then you know hot water that hot water either goes to the water heater or the air handler or the floor and beyond that it's not too hard to, f to figure out. Um, it, of course, involves some engineering and more complicated stuff. But from a consumer standpoint, the flexibility is huge. So when you talk about geothermal, if you're building a house or if you already have a house like this one was already in and it was uh, running off a propane boiler, um, you know, this gives you that option of saying, okay, I can put a heat pump in here. Uh, this system was in the mid-40s as far as uh, cost. And... Uh, is going to save them a ton of money. 
of course it has a little bit longer payoff but we wanted cooling upstairs we wanted you know we could have just done the slab on the floor but we wanted to be able to get those upstairs bedrooms off of the wall heaters that they were on so that's where all this came to play so sure to hit me with questions if you'd like otherwise um, poke around some other videos but that's the Daikin Al Thermos system thanks for watching